Why, hello, all of you beautiful people out there and my loyal minions. It's your Hypno God Mastermind, Fred Lee, here with another Behind the Gig. This is a behind the scenes series where I take you wherever I take you. In this case, I got an event up in Nevada, northern side, not southern side, so we're not going to Vegas, but it's still going to be cool regardless. And the price of admission for this awesome road trip is slapping that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. And also, if you already have subscribed, make sure you're still subscribed and ring the bell icon so you don't miss out because I upload whenever I can. And if you're subscribed, you're the first to know and you get dibs on awesome, cool stuff. That being said, let's get to the road trip. buffets because why not because Nevada is known for some pretty good buffets so I'm gonna show you what's inside and also show you some of the scenery around here it's, it's gonna be a little short stop I'm not gonna be here for too long because I still got to check in the hotel and get ready for the gig My Phil, so for the best buffet in town, for 50 bucks, I'd say it's worth more like 25 ish because you know they got a whole gelato bar, they do have all kinds of stuff, you know, assortment of different meats. The prime rib was a disappointment, it was dry as hell, and I didn't even bother eating it because it was that bad. But I mean, in terms of the hit or miss ratio for it, you get like 70% good stuff. So that's why I'm saying 25, 30-ish would be more reasonable. But, you know, complacency, it gets you. No matter what kind of marketing you do, if you say you're the best, and if you don't keep up in your game, you're going to look like shit. <laughs> um, harsh and candid food review aside, we're going to get right on the road. we got like an hour 20-ish just to get to my destination. So I'll see you there. As you've noticed, I stopped recording while driving because one, the windshield got dirty because of the stupid bugs, and two, it's dangerous to record while driving without the proper setup. Welcome to Love Lock, Nevada. A stark contrast compared to Reno, and Reno is an hour and a half from here. I'm gonna make do with whatever time I got, just gonna prepare for the show, and you'll probably see some more of that in a bit. So, catch you later. prettiest little spot but it'll do I mean I'm just staying here for a day just to do the event and all that so um, I'm gonna try this general's area's pizza spot because why not and uh, I don't think I've seen this particular brand of corn it's a let's get it there so flavor mill fire roasted sweet corn I'll show you I'm trying to process and see where the sweet is. Okay, it's actually 
It's a very subtle sweet. So there's more popcorn-y, a little bit of sweet. Pizza should be here in like some odd minutes. You'll get a nice little pretty shot of it. And, well, it, it is what it is, you know, life on the road, right? <laughs> you just gotta make do what you got. And we're gonna get to the venue shortly after. So, see you later. The hotel I was staying at had a pizzeria built into it, so if you ordered pizza, they sent it straight to your room. I got myself the butter chicken pizza, and looking at it, presentation is good, ingredients are fresh, and overall, pretty good pizza for 25 bucks. Please welcome Master Hypnotist, Fred Lee! Now, watch, this is a miracle, this is a miracle moment right here. You're gonna feel them pop open now, just like that. Oh my god! They're open, they're open, they're open, they're open, they're open. I got you, just this way, melt. There you go, there you go, just melt. I got you. I just came back from doing the gig and man, was that a fun show. Um, it was also interesting since I had two foreign exchange students end up coming up and participating. Uh, one of them, you know, had to drop out because the language barrier was a bit much. Uh, but overall, it was a fantastic show. The hospitality of all the people there were phenomenal. And it's been a pretty bizarre experience um, ever since I've been doing this hypnosis stuff over 10 years ago. I've been noticing that, you know, there's some people that end up with headaches as one of the side effects, which is rather unusual. Um, could be the information overload whenever I do that, you know, remembering sequence, but typically headaches rarely happen. Um, it's been, I don't know what the factor is. I'll have to look into what that is later, but of course I cured the volunteers of their headaches. You know, that's something you got to do as a hypnotist and personally, it's just, you know, it's kind of in my in my line of work, it's like kind of how doctors swear on an oath to make sure that they save lives, take care of them, all that stuff. And as a hypnotist, many that come into the craft are usually just entertainers and they just read a script and blah, blah, blah. And they just get the money and run away because that's all they think it is, easy money. That's not it at all. You have a responsibility if you actually do it for real to make sure everyone you work with is taken care of. And because of the hospitality that a lot of my clients show, I return tenfold. I want to make sure that they're taken care of. And just like all of you viewers out there are experiencing firsthand, essentially for free, it's like you're hanging out with me to an extent. Um, but yeah, it's it's definitely an overall humbling experience. Every single time I go out and do these gigs, every time I interact with people, and it's just living the dream, and I love it. And the more... The more I do this, the more I want to take you guys with me, which is why I put together this whole little series in the first place. That and also a friend, a couple of friends pushed me into doing this vlog stuff because it's been a while since I've vlogged and whatever. I can go on a tangent for days, but I gotta sleep. Thank you guys so much for watching and continuing to follow me on my journey. Obviously, the only sponsor for this video is the subscribe button, so subscribe and I'll catch you guys in a future video.